everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House, and today I have more Miraculous Ladybug Playmobil. So if you've been to my channel recently, you probably saw the Playmobil sets that I reviewed. They were really, really amazing. It had Marinette's room, and we also had the Fashion Week runway. In addition, we also had these minifigure sets. So we had Marinette, Ladybug, and Tiki, and we also had Adrian, Cat Noir, and Plague. These were so much fun. Today, we have more. These are the single figure packs. We have Rena Rouge, here is Carapace, look, we have Anti-Bug, here is Puppeteer, and we have Hawk Moth. So it's really fun that we have three villains from the show. So that way, we can really role play with the play sets. So are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and take a closer look. But before we start, if you haven't checked out these figures yet, make sure to do so because these are so amazing. Just take a look at Tiki and Plague here. All right, so here are all the figures out of their box. Don't they look great together? So our first one here is Rena Rouge. Here's an up-close look at her face. She has her orange and white mask on. She has her little pointy ears and she has brown ponytail here in the back. She is wearing her black, orange, and white outfit. It looks super cool. And we even have this tail back here. This is all one piece, so the tail does not bend at all. So when she sits, it's gonna look like this. These Playmobil figures are about three inches tall, so they're a really good size for you to play with in your hands and also to display. So you can really see them. Um, you can see all the details like the Miraculous here. She also comes with an accessory. Here's her weapon, her flute. And she's pretty well articulated for a little figure. So her arms go up and down, her wrist rotates, which is really, really cool for posing. And of course she can bend here at the waist so she can sit. And her head also rotates. And here is a ring. So this ring actually comes apart. So we get the little badge here, which you can actually attach onto the bracelet that comes with the ladybug and uh, marionette set. So that way you can attach them to the different little attachment ports here and wear them as a bracelet. So I thought that was really cool. But if you don't have that set, you can just wear this by itself as a ring. And it is kind of adjustable, so it does fit different sizes of fingers. So there you go. It probably fits best on my pinky. And I got these sets from Amazon. And currently they're selling for about $8. Okay, so our next figure here is Carapace. So Carapace here has a really big helmet, which you can remove. And this is what he looks like underneath. You can see his mask here and a little bit of his hair. But he looks much better with his helmet on. His suit has a lot of details. So you can see the little hexagons here, the little lines here, his little knee pads and his boots and look there's even a crease here for his for his boots so i really love that kind of detail on these figures here we have the shoulder pad the elbow pad and a little bit of a wrist guard and of course we have this beautiful design here on the helmet he comes with a shield. This is a flat shield, so it doesn't have the roundness of um, the turtle shell, and it does not attach to his back. So I think one thing that would have been really cool is if there was a little um, attachment point here so you can stick it onto his back. But it doesn't have that, so we just put it here on his hand. And here is his ring. Next, we have Antibug. So Antibug is Chloe transformed. And here she is. She is wearing the opposite color of Ladybug. So instead of a red suit with black dots, she has a black suit with red dots. And her mask is that way too. She has a high ponytail here. And she comes with a little yo-yo. And this is a little bit stretchy. So it's a lot of fun to reenact. Ladybug's antics, or rather, anti-bug's antics with this figure. 
And here is her ring. Okay, next we have Puppeteer. So Puppeteer is a child, so that is why she is smaller. So here, just in comparison, her head, the top of her head actually goes to the middle of uh, Rina Rouge here, but with the hair, it goes up to the bottom of her head. So her hair is really big, and that's what makes it so fun. So here's an up-close look. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. And she still has the buck teeth. Her outfit is really cool. Lots of details here. And she is holding a wand. So here is her wand. And just to compare, we do have Manon, which is the child that is akumatized to make Puppeteer. So you can see that they're the same height. So if you have both the Marinette's room set, which Manon comes in, and also this figure, you can reenact the entire episode. And here's her ring. And of course, the villain that akumatizes everybody. Here is Hawk Moth. Look at him. This is super cool. So he does have a little helmet on, and it does come off. So it's very snug on him. So this is what he looks like without his helmet. He has no hair at all. He just has a mean, angry face. So let's put his helmet back on like this. His collar here also comes off, but his outfit looks very incomplete without it because this line, this little zipper here, only comes up halfway up his suit. So with this, it looks way more complete. And of course, we also have his Miraculous here. He comes with a staff and this little paddle. So this is for when he's akumatizing somebody. You can see the symbol over their face. So as an example, we can put this here during the akumatization process. And he also comes with a ring. So I think these figures are really cool. The only thing is I'm really sad that Rena Rouge, Carapace, and even Hawk Moth here didn't come with their Kwamis. I think that would have been really fun to have the Kwamis too. The Ladybug and Cat Noir sets did come with the Kwamis. <laughs> Just take a look at how adorable they are. Look how tiny they are. They come with a little stand so they can go and talk to their heroes. So I think it would have been really fun if these figures had come with their Kwamis too. But maybe they'll make a whole set just with Kwamis. That'd be really exciting, wouldn't it? All right, everyone. So this was a really cool set to review. And now we have some villains to play with, which is always a lot of fun. A lot of times we have play sets where we only see the heroes and never the villains. But take a look. We got three villains. And of course, we also have the most important villain, which is Hawk Moth. And I'm hoping that uh, next year, maybe Playmobil will come out with more villains and heroes. And then we can really expand our collection of these Miraculous Ladybug characters. Alright everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have not seen the reviews for Marinette's Bedroom and also the Fashion Week Runway, make sure to check out that video. And I'll see you next time. Bye!